Hello students, welcome to Shore of Such Classes. So in today's lecture, we'll be talking about a topic from international economics. So to be very specific, we'll be solving a problem regarding the difference between investment multiplier in open economy as compared to in closed economy. So we'll simply start our explanation with so first of all I'll write down the question so the first question question number A is given as why investment multiplier why investment multiplier in an open, open economy why investment multiplier in an open economy is less than is less than in closed economy so this is the question number a and question number b it is said will there be similar similar difference when all imports are used as intermediate inputs for export production will there be similar difference will there be similar difference when all imports are used as intermediate inputs for export production and the last question is given as now we have to consider the case where countries export increases from so the last question is given as we have to consider a case where countries export increases from 40 to 80 countries export increases from 40 to 80 while its import increases from forty to eighty where its import increases from forty to eighty another case where export falls from another case where export falls it decreases from forty to thirty and finally a case where import falls from Forty to twenty. So we have these four things. So what will be the effect on equilibrium national income in two cases? So this is one case. This is another case. So the question is, what will be the effect on equilibrium national income? in these two cases so we have to find out we have to answer these three questions so first of all we'll start with question number a so in question number a we have to answer what why investment multiplier in an open economy is less than in closed economy so first of all investment multiplier for a closed economy is reciprocal of mps we know investment multiplier of for a closed economy is reciprocal of marginal propensity to consume now we know a change in y 
is equals to small m which is multiplier into change in autonomous investment this is known as multiplier now or the multipliers the change is income divided by initial change in autonomous spending now if the consumption is a function of disposable income now if the consumption is a function of If the consumption is a function of disposable income, the investment multiplier will look like capital M. The investment multiplier will look like capital M, which is one by one minus M P C into one minus T. It will be one by one minus M P C into one minus T. Now here T is what? Here T is. tax rate here t is what here t x tax rate now we know for an open economy the multiplier instead of k, capital m will denote it by small k it will be 1 by 1 minus m p c 1 minus t minus m p m which is marginal propensity to import so as you can see there is another term coming here 1 minus M P C one minus T plus M P M. So in an investment multiplier for an economy is less than that in closed economy. Uh, there is so because there is no leakage of spending out of domestic currency into import. So we know. In addition, if it is assumed that there is no government sector, so if there is no government sector. what happens is this this mpc one minus mpc becomes one by mpc because t becomes equals to zero so now the export multiplier could be ex explained as what the export multiplier could be export as change in y by change in x minus One divided by. So for this we know. It will look like one minus M P C. Plus M P M, or we can further write it as. Change in Y equals to one, by, one minus M P C. so if we consider autonomous import that is cap m bar as another types of autonomous spending in an open economy an increase in m bar will also an increase in m bar will also have a multiplier effect if the demand for import increases autonomically so this equilibrium is an autonomous decrease in demand for domestic goods therefore an autonomous increase in import will lead to a fall in level of income and the autonomous increase in import reflect a fall in spending on domestic goods which leads to lower income since multiplier process for an autonomous fall in import operates in a downward direction so for this reason we can write down the multiplier so we can simply write down the multiplier for a change in autonomous import is given as is equals to minus k equals to minus 1 by 1 minus mpc plus npm so we'll denote it by star so now we know if export and import both increase automatically by the same amount the net effect on the national income is zero this occurs because export change has a multiplier k while autonomous import change has a multiplier minus k now we know 
the two changes cancel each other out with respect to their changes in national income so if both changes that is if export and import both changes then what happens they both cancelled out and we don't get any further change this is why so as you know in closed economy the investment multiplier was what 1 by 1 minus MPC and in open economy there is another term which is coming because of import this is MPM so this is why we get the value of multiplier in close, close economy more than the value of multiplier in open economy so I hope you guys have understood this question now we'll go to the next question in the next question it is given will there be similar difference when all imports are used as intermediate import for export so similar difference will there be similar difference when all imports are used as intermediate inputs for export production so this we have to explain so for this we know imports acts as a leakage from circular flow of income we know import acts as leakage from so imports acts as leakage from circular flow of income so while export acts as injection into the flow thus if export have an import content the value of open, open economy further falls so if If export has an import content then multiplier will further fall. Now we will come to the next question that is question number C it was given so now we know we'll simply write down the equation that we have written change in y by change in x which is equals to 1 by 1 minus mpc by plus mpm so we know change in x will be equals to 40 minus 30 equals to 10 if you remember the export increases from 40 to 80 and another case export falls from 40 to 30 so the, this is the case the second one so here MPC will be 2 by 3 and MPM will be 1 by 10 so then K will be equals to 1 by 1 minus 2 by 3 plus 1 by 10 which will be equals to minus 2.3 so K's value will be equals to minus 2.3 so now if you simply find change in y from here this equation it will be change in x so now the value of change in y will be minus 2.3 as you have found it will be multiplied with change in x so it will be 2.3 into 10 because the change in x is 10 is equals to minus 23 and now here change in m is equals to minus 20 so national income will rise by how much the national income will rise by by 23 into 20 which is 46 so now the net equilibrium increase will be will be equals to 46 minus 23 which is equals to 23 so change in y will be how much it will be equals to 23 so this is how we can solve the question so I hope you guys have understood it if you still have any query or if you want to know about more about this kind of question you can simply whatsapp me on this question 
on this number which is 9836793076 or you can also go to our website which is www.showupsersclasses.com there you will find a lot of other videos like this and you will also get to see a lot of other materials which are needed for different entrance exam so thank you for watching this video and have a nice day ahead